It's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and today I have a 2022 GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. Yes, the top trim, higher Denali than ever in the years past. Beautiful truck, but I want to check out the Super Cruise feature in this truck that's available. Uh, and I have three of my golf buddies who've never experienced the system. We have Russ, Jim, and Mark, and we're going to take it out on I-80 here, which is a mapped highway for the GM Super Cruise system. is much like Ford's Blue Cruise and even like Tesla's Autopilot in that it should drive itself down this highway once I get on the highway. It, I'll see an indicator on the screen and I'll pull my phone out here in a little while and I'll show you what it looks like we get on the screen but I'm gonna go ahead and put on my cruise control and so that's a cruise. Now it just said to me that the Blue Cruise is available. Come on. It should go green here in a second. There we go. So the green light came on and the green light is on the steering wheel in the dash. I'll show you this. Let me grab my phone here and I'll show you the video on that. So, okay, so green light is here. I have the green light there on the dash. I have, it is set up, oh, it's flashing at me. Must not be looking, look straight ahead. Oh no, it went right. I gotta engage it. Take control, disengage, disengage. <laughs> disengage. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like, all right, so take the phone off there and we'll turn on cruise. Saying you're not looking enough. <laughs> and then we'll see if it does it again. I should be looking at my eyeballs right here. Oh, that's where it looks. Is what, yeah, it should be. So Ford's, Ford's got a system that goes here and here, and GM system is right there. That's where so, the cameras are right there. This is where the eyeball looks at me. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, so, I see. I see. I'll raise it up a little bit. May have it down a little bit. Let's see. Come on. I just hate when you're trying to demo something and it doesn't work. <laughs> Has it got it now? No, it's still, it's still oh, fighting. Oh, see, that light has to turn green on the right. It'll, this will turn green. So let's... Oh. It should be picking this up. Weird. Let's give it that. I mean, even, you, you know, even even not even using Super Cruise, I mean, you still can sit back a little bit. I mean, right. Adaptive Cruise works so well. Adaptive Cruise and Lane Departure. Come on, Lane Departure is nice. Yeah, it can be a little annoying, but it, it, it is nice at times. There's a Donnelly right there. Yep. I know sometimes if you don't use your blinkers, it tries to keep you in the lane. Yep, yep <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it will. Oh, is that it? It's slowing Where is, yeah, it's got the Adaptive Cruise. That's it, adaptive slowing Cruise you down? is keeping you oh. in some distance. Yeah, it's keeping yeah. it far away from the it's car in front of you. I'm just looking for the Bushnell was. That would work great, you know, in the freeway in California. <laughs> but I don't know. Oh yeah, a lot of times I use it. So the the cars in the freeway up there, a lot of times they'll have uh, stop uh, adaptive cruise even down to, to stop and go. Right. So it'll go down to stop and go traffic. All right, GM, you're failing me here. This should just pop on. Where does it turn green in the steering wheel? So that little oh, thing okay. up there above the, the steering wheel, like five mile an hour. Oh, yeah, that'll turn green too. And usually it's really fast. I'm surprised. I'm not sure what's going on because it did work, and then it said it didn't want to work. Because we're out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe you got it tilted too high. Maybe it's shooting over your head there. Yeah, you're I don't know. Your wheel back now here. Okay, slight technical difficulty, but ah, we figured it out. So now we'd be super cruising. You can super cruise the Potter. Check it out. I mean, it's not that much farther. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> you know. Russ's Russ's first response is, "Be clear, I'm all this way out here." So, what do you think, Russ? I mean, look, yeah, I'm, my hands are my hands are folded. Pretty cool. I want to see it change lanes now. Wait, you are picky. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let's keep that dead center in the lane. Oh yeah, yeah it's, 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 yeah. it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Though, I mean, once yeah. we have work, I mean, you know. I, but see they, what but it does when it gets up behind the semi in front of us, it'll be well, it'll okay. down. Well, it'll slow a little bit, but it also should change lanes. I think I have the setting correctly in the okay. system. Okay, when you get up here, it'll automatically get past the semi. It should. Or sometimes you can you yeah, can initiate the cool. lane change that's with cool. the steering 
with the stalk putting on the turn signal. But I believe the settings I had, I looked up this morning, the settings well, in the you system. You should be able to get him right here. On here we go, field. looking for an opening. Auto lane change, there changing goes. lanes. Oh, and no, you have to touch yeah, the steering, steering wheel. wheel. And the, the blinker's on. Yeah. Okay, so now it's gonna, and I'll get this on film for the one we're gonna, we're gonna go the past bridge. these semis. That's pretty cool. So. <laughs> Watch the bridge. <laughs> the only <laughs> thing, where to watch. I know, the only thing you gotta be ready for is you gotta be ready to take over right away. So if, right. if something happens, you gotta learn to take over right away. So we're over this bridge. It okay. Fine over that. Road. That's pretty impressive. Alright, so now <laughs> we're gonna go past this uh, slow mo moving semi. And it should, once we get past this, it's blinking at me. So now, go come on, over. it should. Yeah, there we go. It Auto lane change, look for an opening. Changing lanes. And not like a BMW driver, we do have the turn signal on. That is pretty cool. And then we're done. That's pretty sweet. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. That is neat. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I mean, so you got to have a certain circumstances, right? You got to be on I-80, right. a mapped be, highway. Right. It's got to have clear weather. You got to be able yeah. to see, right? Um, it'll do lane change when it's unladen. It will do super cruise when you're towing a, a trailer, which is really cool. Because I feel like like towing a load across Nebraska. This would be helpful because to, to me towing is pretty stressful right for most people and so this is this is kind of nice but yeah so the, I, it, it's just it's kind of a weird system you just sit here sit back and i don't yeah i don't know I mean, I mean you're not you i'm getting more and more one. used to it i mean when i first started driving i was very nervous because i just wanted to be ready to go right. you know in case something happened but now it's just like that you just sit here that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, for, for like driving across Nebraska and yeah, I mean, wide open or states. Across yeah. Wyoming, Nebraska, I mean, you, you know. Yeah, if you're taking a multi-day trip, I mean, you can, so you can't, so. The and it won't let you run into anything in front of you. No, and this has got the sensor on it, so you're not going to be like, you know, so I can look at you for a little bit, right? right? Look back and forth. I talked to GM about this, and they said, they don't give you the number, but they said the faster you're going, the less time you can look away, right? Right, which makes sense. Yeah, that's. But they didn't want to publish like four seconds or three, you know, whatever. They don't want to. They don't want to make that public. But and I don't blame them, right? Because right, people, people use they would speed. test it out. Right. I'm gonna do it. You know, people but, are usually going over the speed limit. Anyway. Right. So you can do that. And then I usually, um, I have, I don't have flashy glasses where it's, where I have the uh, lens, but mirrors. But I put my sunglasses on. You know, you can probably you can eat a little sandwich or something, I guess, as long as you're still paying attention. As long as you're still focused. If yeah. you look away, it's gonna. If you look away too long, it's gonna. You know, gonna you gotta and off. you gotta make sure you. That's why this is nice being green, because red will flash at you, say take right. over, take over, take over. But yeah. <laughs> right down the middle. And yeah, it, yeah and so I mean, this I mean, is. He hasn't touched the steering wheel in like five minutes. Yeah, like, this is your higher trim levels, right? So. This truck is $80,000, right. but this is gonna be, higher trim levels, gonna be a lot of electric vehicles will have this. Uh, GM's putting it through, there's to elect all the electric vehicles, all their different rigs are doing right. this truck. How much does it add in cost? You know, like a model below it that doesn't do it, what are you talking difference? You know, they, as, as GM marketing goes, they don't really, there's no really good answer because they kind of put package deals and they put it on and right. so you really can't figure it out. Now what I, what I have noticed, we're gonna change lanes again, is that yeah, there it goes. they're gonna build OnStar built into the system because you have to have Wi-Fi through the system to be able to use Super Cruise. And so that's one of my beefs with GM right now is that any vehicle built out of June of June of 2022 will have mandatory $1,500 surcharge for three years of OnStar service. All right, all I don't. Right. I hate that, but yeah. if you're gonna use Super Cruise and such, you have to have that OnStar connectivity services to be able to use Wi-Fi. And the same thing's gonna happen with electric vehicles. Right. So GM's got a system called Charge and Go, where you just drive up and you plug in your EV and you right. plug it and go away and charge your car. People like it and they'll stay subscribed to it. Exactly. Gonna, so you're that's you're gonna have to pay for it eventually. Yeah. 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 I mean that's nice like a lane changes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lane changes. Yeah. Yeah, no issue there. So, yeah, it's interesting. So I think it, yeah, moving in the future, we're gonna we're gonna spend more for trucks. We're gonna spend more subscription services. Right. But we're gonna have a little bit more of a less stressful driving experience. Well, look what you're spending on TV and streaming services now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Now this should slow you down automatic for this. Yeah. You, you won't, yeah. You won't so I'm gonna I'm gonna take over here because we're gonna get off at Dixon a little bit, but I'll. I'll let it change lanes one more time. So it's, this is interesting. So we have a vehicle up to the right of us. Okay. We have a semi in front. We're slowing down. Right. It changed lanes for us. It's slowing down. But It'll now figure it's out. Now it's going to pick up because of the semi change. That's cool. So yeah, it just it's 
Pretty a nice safe distance. Yep, oh, yeah, exactly. And then it knows that that semi's out of the way. We're, you know, All right. Whatever. Yep. And now I can press. I'm going to press the brake, and Super Cruise is disengaging. And I'm going to switch over. I'm going to switch lanes. We head back home. There you go. That's pretty nice. cool. That, That's was pretty, that is pretty cool. Man. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Kicking on the go the other way. I definitely. Yep. That's something that, like I said, if you drive long distances, if you yeah, drive, if you're going to go on a long trip, or if you're like a. I wonder how it would act in like heavy, you know, like south of Cheyenne towards Fort Collins, where there's a lot more traffic. So I drove it in Shan San Diego on that 405, or whatever that is, right, 105 on the interstate, and uh, it worked, and it Just it like clockwork, woo, freaked me out at times. It would, but because it does, you know you're like bumper to bumper almost. Yeah, yeah and it, it does, it does work. I mean, it, it's it's it stresses me out a little bit. But once you get used to it, I've talked to a lot of people who own these, uh, like a Tesla or right, Ford Blue right. Cruise, whatever. And uh, yeah, once you get used to it, man, it's it's pretty damn slick. So they still get more roads. You need to be able to drive home and have Super Cruise the whole way. Right. So map more roads. Right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay, there's always one more thing to add to these videos. And surprise upon surprise, we're on I-70, or no, 71 North, Highway 71 North. And uh, it's got to see my face. Yes, 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 yes. It doesn't like me filming it while I'm doing it. But uh, Super Cruise was available, so I click the button and I'll be damned. It works. So we're going to Super Cruise it all the way back home to Gearing. Cool. On so 71. On. Yeah. Huh. So, uh, yeah, they must have improved that. I must have mapped this out because last time I checked, I didn't have it. So this is kind of nice. I'll just be sitting here cruising. All right, just got back to the house. We drove 30 some miles with Super Cruise only on 71. If you know the highway, go over Wildcat Hills, it turned off for a segment because we're on top of the hills and there's some more turns up there. But then it kicked back on and got the bottom of the hill. So pretty comfortable driving that long distance with Super Cruise. And I'm becoming more of a believer in that system the more I use it. I still like to drive, but it is nice riding along for a while in those big open roads. All right, so one more thing I want to explain is that as Super Cruise disengages, come on back, um, is that this is a cool system for Super Cruise for Denali Ultimate, except that you can't get it Denali Ultimate because Denali Ultimate for this model year doesn't have enough chips to be able to use Super Cruise. So you're hoping that you're gonna buy this truck, eventually get the chips, they'll retrofit it, and then you can use Super Cruise. So that's, that's the game of this truck. Right. Just want to add a little piece. All right, for more truck to videos over here, website down below, pickuptrucktalk.com. Social media, pickup truck talk, made it as simple as I could for those people out there. Three simple words. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you down the road.